What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood outside Providence restaurant, about to take you inside the mind of a seafood genius. I am now inside the restaurant with chef and owner, Mr. Michael Simaresti. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. This is very, very exciting because your food is legendary. Is that a good word to use? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I mean, it sounds nice. Yeah, but uh, I'm happy that you're here. You have two Michelin stars. You make the top of every best of list. Mm. What makes it so special? Uh, you know, myself and my partners and all the chefs that work here and everybody, we just have like a very single-minded sort of mission to like just make this the best restaurant that it can be. Uh, you know, on all levels, from food to service to the quality of ingredients. This is the main dining room where the majority of our guests eat. It's quiet, it's subdued, and that's, you know, sort of that way on purpose because we want people to have, be able to, you know, have conversations and we want the, you know, the atmosphere to be like peaceful and tranquil and comfortable and, you know, and also like not over the top. And you said the word guests. You have many A-list guests that walk through these doors. Yeah. Brad Pitt walks in, where's he gonna sit? Right behind us, usually right here. Like, because there's a quiet table and it's here? sort of out of the way. He has, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Brad Pitt's butt has been on that on that couch. That's, that's nice. It's the people that have saved up for six months to enjoy this place on their anniversary or their birthday. Um, and, you know, and it's just as important as, as to us to please those guests as it is for, you know, anybody that you may have heard of or read about. So today we have beautiful swordfish. We have a program that we spearhead, which is called Dock to Dish, yeah. which it connects us and other restaurants in the city with local fishermen. Right. And so this fish, uh, this swordfish was uh, just, was brought down here on, um, actually yesterday morning. Over here in the back, we have a, like a charcoal grill. That's your grill. Yeah, it's, it's part one of our grills. That's yeah. genius. Yeah. yeah. So this is just uh, house mayonnaise. Mayo. Yeah, just uh, as I always say, a whisper of mayonnaise on the fish. And it, the only reason you put it there is to keep the fish from sticking. So we're also going to season the fish with uh, sea salt, and then we're also going to season with uh, espelette chili, a red chili powder from France. And while it's on the grill, we're going to brush the other side too. What do you call it? Not a, a whisper. Dusting. A whisper. Not a a whisper of mayonnaise. Oh. That's good. Dancing. Yeah, and then we can season a little bit more with a uh, chili powder. Okay. And now we just wait. You actually are a fisherman. That's true. And you call yourself one more than a chef. Yeah, well, I don't know about that, but yeah. I mean, I, it's it's something that I absolutely love and I've been doing it ever since I was a kid. You know, and it's definitely something like since I moved to Los Angeles that, you know, it's a bug that really bit me and that I, you know, I I go every chance I get. So we took the, the swordfish has been off, is off the grill now. And you see, we just got light color on the sword because yes. it, it's not done cooking yet. So we're gonna take off a, like a portion for the plate because we do a tasting menu and you're gonna have five or seven or nine courses before you get to this one. What made you wanna be a part of Dine LA? They're celebrating their 10th anniversary now. Yeah, they started a couple of years an exclusive series or whatever they call it. And it seemed to sort of like fit in with what we were trying to do here. And the price point was high enough that we could offer the level of quality that we wanna, you know, that we try to offer here every day. And so it just seemed like a natural fit. So what options could people have when they come here for Dine LA? Well, well, we'll be preparing like the regular four course menu that we always oh, wow. prepare for that. Yeah. And this will be on it, yeah. And this swordfish dish will be on it, yeah. So we have our piece of swordfish cut, and then here we have a black truffle crust that we make with French black truffle and shallot. And then there's a little bit of breadcrumb in there, which will keep it on top of the swordfish. And so we'll just keep this now in a warm spot for a couple minutes, and then we'll prepare the vegetable garnish. Yeah. So we start out with a pancetta, and then the carrots as well we'll put in there, and the uh, crones and then the Romanesco. A little bit of sea salt, and then uh, sherry vinegar. Okay. The sherry vinegar works really well with all of these flavors. And then here we have our the sauce for the dish, which is um, it's a truffled uh, poultry juice. So the, the swordfish has been resting in a warm spot. And you see the crust is kind of melted a little bit, but we just put it in the broiler just to brown it a little bit. So Chef, what's cool about the Winter Dine LA series is there are 400 restaurants that diners have to choose from in LA alone, 16 in the exclusive series. Wow. But to be honest with you, the look of that swordfish alone, there's only one option. Oh. Providence, there's well, only thanks. one option. Thank you. Yeah. It's stunning. It's light. And my, my thing with fish is always that fishy taste. Mm -hmm. I don't gravitate towards fish because the fishy taste, this has none of that. No, not at all. Once we started finding these local fish, um, I, I don't know, we just, I, I fell in love with it and I think everybody in the back did too. And I think our guests do too, because whenever we have it available, it's like crazy. 
We, you know, it's like every table has swordfish pretty much. This is the first time I've actually sat in the dining room really? and ate the type of food that we serve our guests. We eat crew meal out here and stuff, but I just, I've never sat down in this restaurant and eaten a full meal. Well, I feel honored that it's with me. Yeah. How does it make you feel? I know I how it, it makes me feel. I'm going to go back there and give them all a big pat on the back. 